Hey guys, what's up? Chemistry here. Today I'm going to answer to some frequently asked questions, and I mean really frequently, like everyday questions that I get. Um, and I guess I'll go through this very quickly. If I gave you to a link to this video, it's because um, you probably asked a question that uh, I didn't want to have to type in again. So, you know, to be completely frank, it does get pretty annoying. Um, but yeah, I'm going to explain it all through video. Um, the most frequently asked question is how to get the pattern blocks on the playlist. Now this obviously is the playlist. And this is where you get all your patterns all layered in together to make or form a song. Um, but people are wondering how I get those pattern blocks at the bottom. It's quite easy. You go into options, general settings, ena enable legacy pattern blocks. So it's right down here. It'll, get, it'll give you a message, you hit OK and then you know there they are. It's, it's actually very useful I find because you can not only like keep track of your patterns but you can also split them by the channel if you have more than one thing going on. Uh, you can clone them, delete the patterns, uh, rename them, color them, <laughs> uh, and then you can just move them from up and down and things like that so you can just really keep track of your stuff. I usually like having the beats or like my percussion beats um, ha happen down here and then have my instruments, my automation clips, my samples, everything up here. And that's how I just kind of got used to organizing my songs. You know, you guys can do whatever you want. But I do that because, let's say I have um, like some claps or something like that, right? Eight filling, fill for each four steps, sorry. Um, if I put it up here, like I don't really like looking at that, it's just a bunch of green lines and I feel like it's taking up all this room. So I, that's why I like separating it. So the claps are now down here. It's really no different, it just looks different. Um, but yeah, that's, that's how I use it. Um, next, I'm going to show you how to get those ghost notes, which is a, a very commonly asked question. Um, all you have to do is, well, I'm going to make a bass line thing, right? So this is not even a bass, but uh, let's see, I have this bass line going on. All right, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, so to get the ghost notes to appear, like, let's say you had this lead thing happen. Uh, I can't see like what's going on. Like I, I I can't see my bass line anymore because like I'm not on the same piano roll. But to be able to still see it, all you have to do is control, click and drag, and then like outline your 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 notes. You know, it doesn't have to be a bass line, but just outline the notes. Um, so yeah, that's just holding control and outlining the notes. After that, you have to hit Alt C. And then you know you'll see that it's not red anymore. That's how you know it's working so far. Then you go into another channel. It doesn't have to be your lead. This is just a, an example. Go into another channel, hit the piano roll, and then hit Alt V, and there you go. Um, they'll appear, and uh, they'll only appear on that specific channel, like or not channel, but pattern. If I go to pattern two, you'll see that you know they will disappear but you can have many things go on on one channel or sorry one pattern um, very easily and it's just easier because you can see that the first note is C without having to go back and forth to your bass line and anyway that's quite useful so ghost notes that's how you get them um, now I'm going to show you how to change your background um, as you can see, the sides are a little messed up, and this can happen with your resolution of the screen, but when you're going to change your background on FL Studio, get to know your resolution, because my monitor is actually kind of small, but I have it really, really zoomed out, um, so that whenever I put a picture, like, you can see that it, it starts doubling over, or re repeating. Um, so if you want to find a good background, have it like good quality background, I, I, I suggest you have the resolution of the picture to like fit that one corner to the other corner of your screen. So yeah, that's uh, that's what I'm gonna teach you. So you wanna go into view, 
background and then set bitmap wallpaper um, and I mean you can change the, the default stuff it's in the FL Studio directory which I'm going to show you right now uh, you want to go into local disk program files um, then you want to go to image line where is that there it is image line FL Studio 10 and then artwork wallpapers and then you can see that you got all these default images that you can use if you like and uh, they're not too bad actually um, but yeah I just showed you where the default directory is um, which I actually learned to know by heart at this point but uh, yeah so that will lead me to showing you how to add plugins to FL Studio I won't get into it too much but I'll show you like how to like have the plugin appear on FL Studio, if you will. Um, so let's say you downloaded Nexus, that's the most asked plugin. Um, by the way, to get Nexus, uh, it's you either have to buy it or you, you know, pirate it on the internet. Uh, I probably won't hang a uh, handout links in the description or anything like that. But uh, remember, G Google is your friend. Uh, it's quite easy to find. R E F X Nexus Two you know, TBD, or TPB, yeah, that's it, um, <laughs> and like, it's, you know, you'll have plenty of options there, um, but you know, if you really want a link, I might be able to send you one through personal message, <laughs> but um, anyway, so let's say you downloaded Nexus, or any plugin in general, VSD plugins, or whatever, um, and you want it to appear on FL Studio, all you have to do is, you know, you want to go into your computer, uh, and yes, I'm running out of space on my local disk drive, so local disk. Then you want to go down to program files, uh, image line, uh, FL Studio 10, or whatever FL Studio you're using, uh, plugins, and then VST. So VST is like the one you're looking for. Um, and this is where you're going to place all the information of your plugin, your downloaded plugin. Or VSD um, into so let's say you download a Nexus and it comes into this I don't know RFX Nexus Nexus folder you want to just put that folder and just drag it onto the VSD folder in the directory of FL Studio and then after that when that when that's done you want to go into channels uh, add one and then more it's on the top here whoops and uh, then it'll come out this window. Um, when this window comes up, you have to hit refresh, fast scan, it'll scan for new information into that VST directory. And if there is new information, or it can read that there is a plugin there, and if you've done everything right, um, you'll see that there's gonna be like a red text. Um, now obviously I didn't add anything, so nothing appeared, but uh, let's say Secura was in red text. Um, <clears throat> All you would have to do is double click on that and it'll open, but I suggest you also hit the, the checker box thing here so that whenever you want to get Secura, you can just like go into replace or insert and then it'll come up in one of these lists here uh, so you can go get it easier. So yeah, that is basically everything that you people have been asking me, um, or at least like this is frequently asked questions. Um, this one here isn't really so much as frequent. Um, if you want to know how to rearrange the top part here, um, there is these little studded marks on the side of each block, um, which you can just click and drag over. You can even move it right outside of the top part, and you can just have everything on the side if you wanted. Um, I don't really like doing that. Uh, I haven't really gotten used to doing that, but uh, it's still available. Um, these five buttons here are, uh, well at least I like having them placed somewhere where it's really easy to reach because I don't really like hitting F5 and F6 to open up all my stuff. I like hitting just these five buttons and I'll open up all my, you know, essentials like the playlist and the step sequencer and piano roll, you know, your browser and your mixer. Um, and yeah, that's how, anyway, this is how I like to arrange it. Uh, I, you know, you can use this as well or have this arrangement, but it'll always look different depending on your screen resolution, and it'll always um, 
you know differ on what you like right so just find something that you're comfortable with get comfortable with that and don't change it <laughs> I had it looking like this for the past several several years now probably so yeah, I could never change it anyway that's basically it hope you guys enjoy the tutorial and um, bye <laughs>